So, today's stream was supposed to be about continuing my 20 game winning streak, which would have been epic. Uh, instead, today's stream is about resetting and psychologically bouncing back. Um, so, as you can see, after winning 20 games today, I, wa I lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in a row. I started with the 2700, which put me in that mindset that I can't really do this. This is too hard. And so right now I'm going to, I took a little food break, some, got some cheese, some crackers. I'm going to, one thing I noticed is when I'm talking and explaining my moves, it slows me down. So I've got to talk a little bit less and have fun, not care about the result. Focusing on the result made me go from my longest winning streak to one of my longest losing streaks ever. So here we go, Carol Khan. Let's focus on speed. I'll use less talking and more arrows to explain my thoughts. And <clears throat> night fork. This time I talked less and I'm having more fun and this is the result of that. And I had a bad result in the opening, but I can always review don't worry about the bad results immediately. You can always go back and review them later. That's a big takeaway. from this experience. I blundered, but I'm still having fun, and I, I played the most, instead of being distraught and talking and complaining, I, I found the most accurate sequence. I'm still in the game here. Still in the game. Oops, another blunder. It's okay, though. Although there's three against two.
not talking so much, staying in the zone. Always got the time in Blitz Chess. You always have a fun time scramble to help you come back, especially when you don't blab your, yabby your mouth like I did when I lost all the other games. No more yabbering. Check. And all of a sudden, I got a good position again. Just from being positive and not talking too much and staying focused. Here we go. So that's how you make a psychological comeback when you're playing Blitz Chess and you stop a losing streak. Um, stay focused on the game. Don't regret the past mistakes. And don't think why am I losing on time or why is this happening just stay focused um, maybe don't be distracted just um, you can you know let's take a look the opening was not what I wanted um, this nine of four line always I always forget what to do so we can go back to my chest base notes and see what I'm supposed to do against that line and according to my chest base notes I'm supposed to play <clears throat> what is it? Chess base, Carol Khan. According to my chess base notes, I'm supposed to play <clears throat> against this 92 line. Maybe it's a sideline. Let me let me look at my notes. I forget exactly where it is in my notes. Um, definitely not 92, 93. Not that line. Um, oh, maybe it is that line. Let's see, because he did play, yeah, he did play that, but it's a sideline off of that line. It's a sideline off of a main line, so let's take a look at this this uh, line over here. And in this position, let's see, yeah, this was the, so far, knight h3 with the go to f4. Really, it was amounted to, to the same thing that he played knight e2. I, I do have notes on knight e2. This is what happened. And what I didn't have prepared was the e5 idea. I had just played e6 and I didn't know what to do against the h5 threat, which is very strong. So what I'm supposed to, what I have in my notes was to very quickly play e5 with knight d2. So let's see what I have in my notes. I did have this line too, which is also very enter entertaining. And, um, but it should be drawish and interesting here too. And apparently e5, right, uh, e5 is that queen check, e5 right away, check, take the pawn check. And it says black is pretty equal. I guess the, the point is that the bishop should be able to come out, escape pretty easily. Um, maybe even bishop c2 later if you need to move the bishop somewhere. Black can even castle queen side. So when they play this knight maneuver, it's good to remember to play e5. So I learned from my mistakes, but I didn't worry about learning from my mistakes until after the game. That was the key point. So I'm on a one game winning streak, and and I incidentally got closer to my goal of 2531, which is my new goal, because my rating got to eventually got to 2530 and so I pushed further toward that goal um, let's try to make it let's try again and I'll talk less focus more on the game and see if that helps maybe use arrows If takes takes 
Yeah. <coughs> takes, takes. And I forgot if I should take it or take it. I forgot. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely take this, because that's more material than taking a pawn. Okay, queen of six. If I could trade queens, this pawn's weak. Um. Okay. Rook here. Okay, opponent goes here. I think talking less about my moves and saying why I'm doing them and just using the arrows it helps explain it to you guys better and it's more efficient for me too. He resigned. Well, I won again. Awesome. This, this, um, let's make it a three game winning streak. Uh, but, you know, why did he resign though? Uh, takes. I'm confused because it takes. He could take here in between moves. Maybe he's worried about Bishop takes pawn check. Just losing more material. Oh, I, I missed rook takes. He saw rook takes and I missed it. But apparently this, this, and this is still a winning position for me. He just had enough of that mess. Um, let's do one, one last game here. One last game. And we will... Play fast, not talk too much, and just be positive. I got my morning breakfast, a little snack in, and this is the last game in the in this series of games of bouncing back from defeat. Um, so we have. And if queen b3, I think I just played queen b6, so c5, either queen c2 or queen a6. Um, I think queen a6 was in my notes. I'm a little bit scared about the bishop coming back, but I think I should play this and this. Opponent left the game. <clears throat> Must be a bad connection. I had some terrible. I actually got disconnected by my internet service provider. Uh, Xfinity disconnected me, but they're doing work and improving the lines in the area, so that might be why. That that happened to me like twenty, about twenty minutes ago. Because here I can just take it. Thank you, love. My wife 
has come in to give me some smoothie. My daughter just went to the dentist. <laughs> and um, seven hundred dollars later. Yeah. Nice. Even out of even with insurance. Gosh. Life can be hard sometimes. <laughs> Even with that disgruntling news, the bird I'm gonna stay positive and focused on the chess game here. And my daughter's teeth got taken care of, so that's that's a plus. Probably take back this way. Maybe this way. Not sure. This way might be more solid. Oh, he's suffering from a, my opponent's suffering from connection issues again. It's delicious smoothie. This is awesome for helping me focus. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna have coffee. Work on the garden after this. I have a friend who's creating some assessments, psycho psychology assessments that I'm uh, I'm happy to uh, be a guinea pig and fill out these assessments because assessments are fun. I didn't want his queen to have this square. Oh, I didn't see this pin. This this doesn't work. My queen guards it. The rook. Mm, I thought I thought I was okay. Mm, hmm. I guess because my opponent's low on time. Kind of hard for him here. I think I'm okay. I'll be up a piece here and opponent's low on time. And that is how you turn a seven game losing streak into a three game winning streak with positive mindset. Um, hope you guys love the video and if you like more content like this, please subscribe and um, what do they say? Hit the, hit the bell icon and subscribe and like the video if you like the content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful night or a wonderful day.